We all know that you've got to be dedicated if you want to make it to the top. Here's the thing, lazy dart players don't get anywhere. So be dedicated and don't lie to yourself. If you're not dedicated enough, do something about it. The thing about practice is that it needs to be smart. If you're just mucking around with your friends, having a throw, that's having a throw. Practicing means having structure. So practice smart and not too long. If you want to get somewhere in this game, at some point you're going to have to sacrifice something. And I don't mean sacrificing a lamb. I mean sacrificing time with your friends, your family, sacrificing time with anybody really, and sacrificing a little bit of money as well. This game, every single professional has a story of sacrifice, so be prepared to sacrifice something. Professional sport is not just about how much hard work you put in. It's sometimes about the amount of rest that you get. Rest is just as important as the hard work you put in, so make sure that you get plenty of it. In darts, we are surrounded by negative people. We are also surrounded by lots of positive people. Make sure that you surround yourself with the positive ones, but if one of the negative ones gets you down, prove them wrong. Adrenaline can be your best friend on the hockey. Use it when you need it. If you need to let out a scream, do it. If you don't need to in the midst of the game, don't do it. Use it smartly because it can really help you. No matter where you are, where you're playing, who you're playing against, be humble. Forget about all of the star-studded things that you want at certain points, you've got to be humble. Be a full Glen Durant, and just remember that this is a very humble sport. Don't be too big for your boots, because you'll be put down pretty quickly if you come up against the wrong person. Just be honest, and be humble. Who doesn't love a bit of social media? We all love Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. The thing is, you've got to use it properly. So if you're going to be making a name for yourself on the dartboard, or on social media, you've got to use it right. Don't swear, be nice, and don't be negative. You have to continually test yourself in this sport. Whether it's in practice or against another opponent, you have to seek out people who you think are better than you. If it's in a practice game, make it as hard as possible. Continually test yourself. In my opinion, you have to have a motivational figure in your life. Whether it's someone who is alive or has passed away, whether they're real or fictional, you have to have someone who motivates you to do the best, not just in darts, but in your life.